Hey guys, it's Vicki, and today I'm here to share with you a tag video. And this one is the last 10 books tag. It was created by Mark Nash, and I actually did this tag a few years ago, but decided I wanted to do a revamp <laughs> of it and visit the tag again. So, 10 questions. Let's get into it. So the first question is the last book you didn't finish. For that, I'm going to say The Haunting of Maddie Claire by Simone St. James. I actually started reading this in January and ended up DNFing it about halfway through because I was just really bored by the plot, honestly. And there was a romance brewing in the book that I didn't care about and I felt like it was starting to take more prominence than the like supernatural ghost hunting sort of plot that was going on and so I stopped reading it. Question two is the last book you reread and this is another one that I just read in January and it was a reread and that is The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe by C.S. Lewis. This is the first book publishing in publishing order in the Chronicles of Narnia and I first read this book uh, in sixth grade with my class and I never read the other books in the series, so I decided I want to read The Chronicles of Narnia, so I started with my reread of The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. This is a classic children's story. I really enjoyed it, and I'm really looking forward to going through the whole series. Question three is the last book you bought, and I just bought this book two or three days ago. I was at the grocery store, and I always, every time I'm in there, I go through the book section, and they have a table of like bargain books and I have found some pretty good books that way like I don't know what it is but Meyer the grocery store sometimes they have some great clearance deals on books this one is one I saw it and I had to pick it up and it's Hollow Kingdom by Kira Jane Buxton and this one I can't remember who I've seen talk about this I know Natasha from my reading is odd talked about this. There have been a few other booktubers though that I have seen review this book and it just sounds something that sounds like something I would like. Uh, it's told from the perspective of a bird and I believe I didn't I haven't like reread the bl the uh, blurb <laughs> recently but I believe it has to do with like a zombie apocalypse or something happens where like all the humans die or something and the story though is told through this bird's perspective and I think he has like a friend that's a dog and like all this other stuff. So it just sounds, I've heard it's really quirky, really funny, dark, weird, but great. So I'm really excited to check it out. Question four is the last book you said you'd read but didn't. And for that I went back and the last TBR that I did where I did not complete all the books was for the Fortnite Frights Readathon which was back in October. And I had put a bunch of books on there <laughs> and didn't get to them all, which I knew was going to happen. But one of them was Wicked Girls by Stephanie Hemphill. And this is a book told in verse about the Salem Witch Trials. So, yeah, I think it will be kind of a cool fall book to read. Uh, obviously, I had every intention of reading it. I own it, so, like, I want to read it. <laughs> I just didn't get to it. So, who knows, maybe this fall I'll finally get to read it. Question five is the last book you wrote in the margins of, and I don't do this very often. I'm not really one to annotate my books or tab my books or anything like that. But this book, there was so much good information and so many things that I just had to underline and note uh, because there was just a lot of information. It was a very interesting read, eye-opening read, uh, and that is Stamped from the Beginning by Ibram X. Kendi. Uh, this is a nonfiction book about basically the history of the United States through the lens of how racism has been in our country since its beginnings, even before, even in colonialism and everything, that it has pretty much always been there. And uh, so yeah, there's a lot of great information in here, a lot of things that I just, pretty much every page there's either something underlined or I wrote in the margins because there was just a lot of great stuff. Highly, highly recommend this one. Question six is the last book you had signed, and I don't get a lot of books signed because honestly where I live, authors like never come here. Um, <laughs> but a couple of years ago, uh, this author came to my library of all places, so it was super, super convenient and local for me uh, because she is a local author. Uh, so she came to our library to do a talk and then she signed books afterwards. And she was a really nice lady and it was awesome because I never, like I said, I never go to things like that. So. It was a couple years ago, but that book is The Marsh King's Daughter by Karen Dion, and she signed it um, right up here. Uh, yeah. Um, I wish 
I could tell you what it says, <laughs> but I can't, I can't read what, what it says other than to Vicky some stuff and then <laughs> Karen Dion. <laughs> so, but yeah, I got a signed book. Yay. Question seven is the last book you lost and I've never lost a book. I mean, I've, I have loaned books out to people that these people who they know who they are, by the way, <laughs> I've loaned books out to them and they've had them for years, but I don't consider them lost because I know where they are. Like, I know where my book is, you know what I mean? So, I've never like lost a book, like left it on a bus or something like that where I was like, oh my gosh, where'd it go? I've never done that. Uh, I have though, like I said, lent books out that are still not back in my possession, but I don't consider them lost. Question eight is the last book you had to replace. And honestly, I think when I did this tag the last time, I think I gave this answer too, because I don't think, but I don't think I have replaced a book since this one. And that is Angela's Ashes by Frank McCourt. This is one of my favorite memoirs of all time. And the first copy that I had was a mass market paperback that was like a movie tie-in edition. And it was just so battered and beat up because I read it, my mom read it, and then like my mom passed it to my grandma who then passed it to my aunt. And so by the time it came back to me, it was it was very, very loved and, and battered. And because it's one of my favorite books, I just wanted to keep a nice, you know, like a nice copy. I actually picked this up at a library sale, so it was super cheap, but it's in great shape. And it actually matches um, the sequel, Tiz, is the same um, edition. So or the same, you know, like the same look. So yeah, this is the last one that I have replaced. Question nine is the last book you had an argument over, and I, I, I sat and thought about this for a long time, and I can't think of any time that I had an argument with somebody over a book. Um, because I feel like any time I've had conversations with people about books, it always stays pretty civil because it's just like, oh, I liked that or no, I didn't, or these are the things I liked and these are the things I didn't like. And it had always just been very nice. <laughs> it's never gotten heated or ugly or anything like that. So I've never had an argument over a book. And then question 10 is the last book you couldn't get a hold of. And this is an ongoing, and this, the answer to this question is ongoing for me. Uh, <laughs> the book is Swan Song by Robert McCammon. And the issue is I want a specific edition. I want the edition, I'll put a picture of it here. I want the edition that looks like my edition of Boy's Life uh, because it's a bigger paperback. But all I can find is the mass market paperback where it's like really like tall and skinny and I hate those. I hate those so much. I don't mind like regular mass market paperbacks where, you know, but those ones that are really long, I hate those. And those are, that's the only edition I can find of this book. So I'm holding out. I'm going to keep looking until I find it. But I will say, I just checked before I started filming to kind of give you an idea of how difficult it is to find this book. Uh, this is just one example, of course. But I went onto Amazon just for like, okay, let's see how, like, if because it, it has not been available on Amazon. Well, today it's available on Amazon, this edition. But there's one left in stock and it costs $174.92. Get out of here. So yes, I'm still searching for that book. Hopefully someday I will find it for way less than $174. All right guys, so that is the last 10 books tag. Um, let me know down below how you would answer some of these questions. Uh, and if you want to do this tag, consider yourself tagged because it's a fun one to do. And yeah, that's all I have for today, guys. I hope you're having a wonderful week and I will talk with you soon. Thank you so much for watching.